Anytime that you feel like you may have one of the stroke symptoms, um, you want to try to get to the hospital as fast as you can. The right side of the brain controls the left side of the body, and the left side of the brain controls the right side of the body. Whenever you have a stroke, it may affect one side or another side, or it may affect both sides. The brains on each side can do different functions, and that's how come we can tell in the field and when patients arrive immediately into the hospital where the stroke is most likely occurring. About 2 million brain cells die every minute when someone is having a stroke. This can result in permanent brain damage. Now, as we know, everything also in life is about location, location, location. Thus, if a stroke occurs in a location where it may affect a language center or the ability to move your arms or your legs, it can be very devastating. But at the same time, if it's located in a location that isn't as uh, eloquent as we call it, then the symptoms may not be caught as easily. Brain cells do die when you have a stroke, but if you can get to the hospital and get treatment, hopefully within three hours of the onset, then you have a much better chance of survival. The most important thing is to recognize that someone is having a stroke. I bring this visual back up in that we want to be fast whenever we have a concern about stroke. One is balance. If someone is typically in their normal state of health and all of a sudden they start having a wobbly gait, meaning they're walking funny, or they can't maintain their balance, or they're slumping to one side versus another, it's very important to recognize this. Number two is eyes. If their eye starts pointing in one direction or another and they can't take it away and they're usually very normal and they don't have any eye problems, this may be a sign that they might be having a stroke. Facial droop. We see this in movies. Uh, sometimes we see this in dramas is that sometimes people will have a droopy face off to one side versus another. This is also another clear indication that they may be having a stroke. Now, arm drift. Arm drift is when their arms are asked them to be held out, and then what happens is that one of the arms might be drifting off to one side. This is a very early and subtle sign of detecting the stroke, because what then happens is the part of the brain that controls motor functions, as previously mentioned, will start floating towards one side because they're not getting enough signals from the brain to move their arm or to maintain it against gravity. Speech problems. Very common, people will have garbled speech. Normally they speak very well, very eloquent. Sometimes they sound like they may be drunk, um, is a very common description. Or they're slurring their speech. Uh, these are things, or they're unable to produce speech. These are all very common things. And then time, time is of the essence. As mentioned, as many as two million brain cells will die as time goes on when someone is having a stroke. Anytime that you feel like you may have one of the stroke symptoms, uh, you want to try to get to the hospital as fast as you can. Uh, it does not necessarily mean that uh, you should consider and wait it out and see it, if it improves. You want to try to get to the hospital as soon as possible because we do additional testing. We do additional pictures of the blood vessels of the neck and of the brain, and to make sure that you are not having a blocked blood vessel. Uh, the onset of symptoms to when you are able to get the clot buster approved by the FDA is up to four and a half hours. However, that does not mean that if you have a blood clot that's causing you to have a stroke, that we can't do the uh, procedure of what's called a thrombectomy to try to remove that blood clot. So. Stroke symptoms, just get to the hospital as soon as possible. The doctors will try to figure out what is the next step and the best step to try to treat your stroke symptoms and the stroke that you're having.